Hi there, Dan Alexander here from Prestige Dog Grooming School and the Everyday Pet Groomer. Um, so we're back with our stage five here. Last step of our matted dog for today. If you missed the other videos, go check them out. Just kind of how we deal with a really matted dog that can have a bit of coat save, but still have time and effort. Um, Anyways, I'm uh, gonna pop back in and the owners have kind of COVID haircut of this dog, so she's missing her eyebrows. So I'm just gonna show you how um, I'm gonna choose to deal with this situation. So hopefully these tips will help you out and we'll kind of go from there. So we've got our girl here. So we've clipped her in a four blade. Um, she was severely matted. I've come and wrapped that four blade right around her ears and I've taken it from the top of the ear set to the other top of the ear. And now you can see where her owners have uh, hacked off her brows. <laughs> so that's just missing. I've also taken out her entire chin in the four blade as well. So we're gonna start from here and uh, we'll get going here. Yeah. So I'm gonna take my knees off now. Off we go. Bring her a little bit closer. Just gonna put her and what I'm going to do, because I know this is so short, and you've got a couple options, you could just take this off the same length as that short patch. I choose to go with uh, an option that's going to let it grow out a bit, but I still need to make sure this is going to kind of cohesively work together. She's also quite matted in the cheeks, um, so I'm going to take out the sides of the head, cheeks, in a four blade to start with. So I'm just going to take them off. Right off, all the way back to the ear. I've opened the ear up. I'm going to take it all off. Blend it right into the neck. Her body was done in a four. So that's going to be our first step. Flip the ear over. Coming right in around where her eye corner is going to connect to her ear. So eye corner back. I'm going to take that right off. Okay. So we're ending up with just a top knot looking thing. Now I'm going to come back with my yellow guard comb over a 40. These are my wall motion five in one clippers. Okay, over a 40 blade and I'm going to go in reverse. So towards myself. When you go reverse, remember it's gonna take it about a little bit more, a little bit less than two lengths shorter than what you're intending. So if this is a five eighths, this is now taking it closer to that dark blue which is a little bit longer than a four, which I think is gonna end up helping us match this really well without totally giving her a very flat sort of bald man look, which we don't want. I'm also gonna use this yellow to totally take off and tame her muzzle. And I'm gonna come straight back into that cheek. Notice this length is now leaving her muzzle level with the cheek, even though we took the cheek off in a four. Okay. This is leveling off her. Coming down, through, and this way through the muzzle. Okay. Reverse the top of the head. I'm going to go a little bit sideways just to get those long hairs. Okay, so I'm also going to flip the ears over, and I am going to lightly dust the ears with my yellow just so we have a nice blend. Very light. We were able to brush out her ears, but I don't want them to be overly large for such a shorter head, for a much shorter head. So I'm going to just dust them. I just want to tame them. I don't want to take a ton of length off. I just want them tamed. Okay? So this gives us at least a basis to work with. I'm going to come and take out a little bit. Um, here in Canada, we kind of have controversial subjects with uh, plucking ears. So as long as the ears are clean and healthy like this girl's are, um, our veterinarians here kind of like us to leave them alone. So I like to come just the corner on a 40 blade and just barely touch. Okay. I'm just cleaning that out. Any little extra hair in there. Her ears are healthy, so they don't need to be naked in here. If you do have a dog with ear health issues, then um, because the way veterinary is now, uh, I prefer to just refer them to a vet and let the vet deal with it because they know what's best. We're not veterinarians, we're estheticians, stylists. So 
so this is how I like to handle my mirrors. I mean, of course, if you've got a huge gob in there, you know, you're gonna have to go in and pluck that out. But uh, here in Canada, we, we really do have issues with the veterinarians saying that we're causing the ear infections by plucking ears. So I always let owners know that internal health is things, uh, they need to see their vet for that. And just for liability reasons, our insurance doesn't cover us. So you have to be very careful with that sort of thing. The same goes for anal glands. So unless I've got a huge gob that just needs to come out, and even then I'm still referring them to a vet to go get it actually dealt with. Okay, so uh, step one to simple faces is to scissor the sides of your head. So I'm gonna come in slightly angled towards my ear and take it shorter in front of the ear and then just lightly dust. You can see we've got a half down bit right here that's coming into the side of my face. I'm just gonna pretend as if the hair was there. Because in one month, if we bring this girl back, we're gonna be able to make this a perfect face. Whereas if we just shave it all, then we're not gonna have, we're gonna have even longer time till we can grow it out. So for me, I like to go with what's going to grow up the fastest into a nice shape. So right now, I'm just honestly giving her head shape to grow up. So I'm coming a little bit angled in towards my ear. So what you do on one side, repeat on the other, you guys know me. Lightly dusting. The four blade does a great job, so we're not reshaping her head or taking length off, we're just giving it a little bit of touching up. Once I've got the sides of my head set in, I'm gonna do my eye corners. I'm gonna fluff up the bridge of her nose and her eye corners. I'm gonna come in with a thinning shearer. And because this is hacked off, I wanna give a more dramatic look, so I am gonna take the eye corners and the bridge of the nose shorter. That's gonna make this look more like I meant it to look that way. So taking this shorter than I normally would is going to help this look more. You can already tell that it's starting to look more like that was an intent, intentional thing. Okay, so in this case, even though I wouldn't normally take a bridge of the nose this shorter, in this case I'm going to just because we are doing a bit of a face repair. And then I still am choosing thin shares in this case just to give it a bit of a softer look. That harsh shape look. Bridge of the nose. I'm going a little bit longer here. You can see coming short. Okay. Once I've done that, I'm going to set my brows. We obviously have very little brow to work with, so we're going to comb that all down. I'm going to find the side of the eye first. Hope we do one side, but we always do to the other side. And I'm always aiming my shears, dusting with the base of my shear where I've already scissored the side of the head, and then pointing to the outside corner of the nose. Okay, that's how I find the sides of my eyes, you can see that. And then I go and deal with what I've got left for brow. And in this case, we have barely anything, so we're just going to lightly dust. Again, I'm pretending as if that hair is there to fill it in. And the only thing I'm gonna do is now when I fluff up the head, you can see that we're not too bad. It is shorter than we want, but we're not too horrendous. So I'm just gonna come in and lightly dust just to blend it a little bit more. And then as this grows out, it's gonna look close to perfect in a little bit. Maybe another two weeks, and it's gonna look really, really nice. And you can see we've actually blended and saved that a lot and we didn't shave it the, to get this same length, we would have to shave in a four, where we've actually done almost a half inch. So we're gonna get a much better shaped face out in the end. Okay, I'm gonna comb down her muzzle hair, and I'm gonna start with everything that was inside her mouth. I'm gonna come and separate top jaw and bottom jaw. I'm just scissoring that out. It's yucky and gross. What you do to one side, repeat on the other side. Pull me everything out of her mouth. And come up and over, thumb on the top. And I'm not squeezing, I'm really light. I'm just letting her set her head for now. I'm only gonna squeeze just at the last second, okay? So you'll watch my hand, it'll squeeze. Right at the last second, okay? Then I'm not holding her and fighting with her. Okay? Now I'm gonna comb her muzzle down. I'm gonna get her to stop panting with a light rock. Combing her down, you see how I've set that her top jaw is going to be separated from her bottom jaw. Now I need to just follow that line through. Coming 
inside. I'm just following that line through. I want a separate top and bottom jaw. You don't always have to do that, but this is a shorter face, so in this case I'm going to, and especially since we already had a bunch hacked out by mom and dad. So in this case, we are going with shorter. Okay. All right, now I'm gonna fluff up this muzzle so we can see from a front view what needs to be scissored in. She's got that nice kind of poodly beige on hair, so I'm just gonna lightly dust it around letting my curve shears do the work for me. Okay, so keep coming together here. And now I need to work on that bottom jaw. So combing out. Now I like to take the bottom jaw, just line up my shears, but slightly angled down, just so we get a little bit bigger at the bottom. At the bottom front goatee area which is gonna make her look a little bit cuter from the front, okay? If you just take that right off, it's not quite as cute, but that's a look too. Again, there's no rules in grooming, so if you like that look, go for it. Once I've done one side, you'll see the second side's a lot easier. I just follow the line that's already been created by the other side. So again, shorter underneath, but coming a little bit longer in the goatee area. Okay, I'm gonna pull her whole muzzle forward and remove anything that is going past the nose. Just going to help round that in. And now I'm looking at her from a front view. We can see that she's got a little bit of hair over here that needs to blend in. And remember, less is more. You can really over-scissor these guys that you're trying to repair. Remember, less is more. Just set in the general shape so that as it grows out, you can do what you want to do. Always double, triple check, comb, 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 because you're going to have things that pop out. Combing is absolutely vital to scissor work. What I did one side, and I was repeating on the other side. Okay. So then I'm going to bring her ears back over and you need to check where this ear set is, okay? So I want to make sure this is tidy. So I'm gonna come in and just tidy up where the ears are connecting to her head. And I'm controlling that by controlling her head. I'm also making sure that my longer length is blending into where I came in with my foreblade, okay? So that's how I like to repair my my little uh, mishaps, COVID haircuts, I call them, by the owners. And so we get a cute face. It's not quite as short as just going in with that length and taking the whole thing off, but we still get a super cute result, and it's going to grow out nicer. So I hope those tips are helpful to you guys. I'm Dan Alexander with Prestige Dog Grooming School and the Everyday Pet Groomer, and we'll talk to you guys soon.